Let's take a look at how you calculate the after-tax salvage value. So when a firm sells a piece of equipment, they're going to have a cash flow. Now keep in mind that the cash flow will only equal the selling price if the equipment is sold for its book value. So if, if the equipment is sold for more than its book value, the firm has a capital gain on the piece of equipment and the firm has to pay tax on that capital gain. If the equipment is sold for less than the book value, there's a capital loss and the firm receives a reduction in taxes due to the loss. So the formula is simply that the after-tax salvage equals the selling price minus the selling price minus the book value times the tax rate. So this value here, the selling price minus the book value, is going to be the capital gain or loss. So let's take a look at an example here. I'm going to use an example using the five-year MACRS depreciation schedule. Now if you don't know what that is, it's an accelerated depreciation schedule that the um, IRS allows firms to use so that they can depreciate at a faster rate than, for example, straight line depreciation. So here's the example. I have a video on that if you're interested in knowing a little bit more about this, but I'll just explain it here. So suppose we have a piece of equipment that costs a million dollars. The five-year depreciation schedule looks like this. The first year is 20%, the second year is 32%. You look this up in a table. This is given by the IRS. You don't make it up yourself. They tell you how to depreciate it, and it depends on what kind of equipment you're depreciating. So you'll notice that there are six years here. That's because the assumption is, is that the equipment is put in on July 1st, and so you get half a year's depreciation here and half a year here, and then the rest are full year depreciations. So how do you calculate it? It's just the rate times the capital expenditure, capital outlay. So 20% of a million is 200,000, then 32% times the original capital outlay of a million is 320,000, etc. What's the book value? The book value is going to be the value of the, the book value in the previous period minus any um, depreciation that year. So in this case, it was worth a million, you depreciated 200,000, you get 800,000. In the second year, you depreciate 320,000. The book value last year was 800,000. 800,000 minus 320,000 is 480,000 etc. So let's take a look at calculating the after-tax salvage value. So suppose the um, firm is in the 21 percent marginal tax bracket and they sell a piece of equipment for three hundred and fifty thousand dollars at the end of year three. Well the book value from the previous table is, a, is two hundred eighty eight thousand. The selling price is three hundred fifty thousand so the after-tax salvage is going to be 350000 minus any tax you pay. And you're going to pay a tax because the, you have a capital gain here, right? You have a capital gain of $62,000, right? $350,000 minus $288,000, and it's going to work out to $336,980. let us make sure that's right. So the capital gain, the tax is going to be 350000 minus 288000 times 0.21. We get 13,020. Um, Let's subtract that. So I'll change the sign and add it to 350000 and we get 336980 Suppose it's the case where you sell it for 350000 again, but this year, time you sell it in year two for 350000 The book value is 480000 So in this case, 
you happen to have a loss. You're selling it for less than its book value. So you're going to get some tax savings here. So again, it's going to be the sale price minus the difference of the um, selling price and the book value times the tax rate. And here you'll notice this is more than we're selling it for because we're getting some tax savings. So again, let's check and make sure that my math is correct here. 350,000 minus 480,000 is minus 130,000. So they're losing 130,000 times 0.21. 27,300 and you can see that this is what you're going to save in taxes right we're subtracting here we would be adding this to the 350 so you'd be taking 350 times 27,300 and you get 377,300 so you can see that it's really quite easy to compute but you need to put in this step um, you can't just say they sold it for 350000 therefore their cash flow in that final period is 350000